So in this video, we will look at how Stealthwatch Cloud could remediate through CDO and SecureX. In that specific scenario, what we have here is a detection from uh, SAL, Security Analytics and Logging. So all the logs from the firewall are going to Stealthwatch Cloud where we get some uh, analytics detection here. So in that scenario, we found out that uh, there is um, an extension, multiple extensions that are being uh, queried uh, that are going through the firewall, that could be uh, something that we don't want to have. So here, what we are doing is looking at the CDO and how it is configured to be able to take an action. We want to remediate automatically. So we have a network group, uh, which is all the IP that we want to uh, block. Then as part of this uh, network group, we have network object, which are every single IP that basically will belong to that group. Then what we do next is that we will create a policy uh, that would uh, deny every communication that are coming from uh, an IP that is part of that group. So that's why here we have a policy called Stealthwatch Cloud Blocking Rule. And as you can see inside, as part of the source is that uh, group of blocked IP, uh, IP that we have here uh, with the action of obviously of, of blocking. Now, uh, what happened is that every time I get an alert, like the one that I was showing before, uh, Stealthwatch Cloud is sending an email, and then we have a SecureX orchestration that is listening to those kind of uh, warning, or let's, let's say those kind of trigger. And then from there, we have a group of different action that will happen. So we'll extract the source IP from this alert. Then from there, we'll get all the information about uh, the CDO object group that is already configured in my CDO. Then getting all the information about that group, so all the components who belongs to that group, will create this new uh, network object, get the UID, which is the reference of that object, and add that object into the group uh, that we, um, that we where we gathered all the information previously. And then we'll send a WebEx team message in order for administrator to come and validate and commit all the changes that has been done on the CDO that is managing all the different uh, firewalls. So let's uh, run it. So we get an email coming from that alert and then all the different steps here turns green, which means your workflow runs successfully. If I move into um, into WebEx team, I can see there is a new, new IP that has been quarantined. And I can also see that, uh, well, I need to commit on the firewall because we don't want to do it automatically because you might have also some change that might be pending. So we don't want to do everything directly. We can see that we have our IP that has been added. So a new network object. That network object has been added into the network group. And we, we have now that policy that apply to that group that would deny every uh, communication. So that's how we uh, quarantine uh, that machine. And you can see that, well, obviously the uh, IP uh, source is matching with the one that we just blocked. Now, as I said, we don't want to take action automatically. So we'll have uh, to go here and then push all the changes that has been, um, that has been added. So you just need to uh, do a deploy. And from here, all the communication from your machine that are going through the firewall will be blocked. And with that, that's how uh, that's one way of how you could take remediation uh, with Stealthwatch Cloud using a SecureX orchestrator. And again, that action could be done manually, but also automatically.